we basically had discussions this morning based on a conversation I had with a uh, YouTube viewer from Ireland who contacted me, who's an engineer, and he gave me some ideas. We were talking about how to turn your rooms into a negative pressure room. And so our, our engineers, what, what's, what's your titles? I'm Scott Crenshaw. I'm the director of facilities here at Children's and Women's. Okay, good, good. And so we, he said, you know, that idea is perfect. It actually will work, but we still have to see if your rooms are capable of doing that. So Scott, exactly what did you do? Basically, we've cut off the supply to the room. We have no supply coming in and strictly just all return. The negative side to this is, is that this air does return back to the house system, but it is filtered at the air handler. But that's what we've done so far. We just got to see how we can control the temperature by leaving the door open so the room will stay cool yeah. until and, you put a patient in it. Okay, so demonstrate with your um, smoke equipment. So what is this? What, what do we this have? This is a smoke tube we'd use to check air flows. Okay, all right. And so let's, can I see if the Basically, air, if there's any air? This off. Yeah, so let's smoke it. Let's see what there's happens. There's no, there's no air blowing out of no, that. No, it just, it just hangs there. It just I hangs there. It. Okay, all right. Which, now which in turn, this is the patient room door. Oh yeah, look at that. So we do have air coming in. So there's negative pressure in this room. This is a negative room, which now okay. it all goes up the return. Okay. All right, fantastic. Hey, so, so if I then have a negative pressure room, so we know that basically it's cleaning out, it's taking the air out, Mm -hmm. and it's going to a filter, not a HEPA filter, that the main, at the main air handler. Air handler. But uh, then if I put my, if I go ahead and put my uh, air scrubber in here for 15, 16 minutes and get six or seven air exchanges, mm -hmm. I think that is a decent management of the air Correct. in this room. We have actually already done this in two of our OR suites. I'm doing the same thing, but I'm forcing the air with a HEPA air scrubber into the return to make it negative. And we were able to cut the supply down about 50%. So it's still got some, some supply going in, but we have made two of my rooms negative pressure also. Surgical suites. So we know those air scrubbers are pretty loud. So where's that air scrubber sitting? In the room. It had, it's in the room in surgery. In surgery. Uh, no other... Okay, and, and then the so out. it then it vents out that through, through a return through the surgery. return. Okay, okay. Now, which right. it's a low return. It's right here down low behind oh. the laminar. So it's easy enough to access. OR, but it does make a noise. But it's, is is it an overwhelming noise? No, it, OR suites are so much bigger than this ER room. Yeah, it's not as bad. Okay, all right. So those rooms are six times larger than this room. Okay. So it does drown out a little bit better. And I can see where well, you might need that then just simply to get that negative pressure. Mm -hmm. Well, There's this is too a much great way. supply in a surgery room. Yeah. Uh, we're putting in like almost 2,500 CFMs in a surgery unit. Okay. And it takes a lot of return to overcome that. Yeah. Very good. Hey, thanks so much for doing this. You're I think there's going to be some people out there who say, hey, we appreciate the uh, information. Mm -hmm.